What up? This is Swayze and we're back, people. Yes, we're back with another quickie. But before we get into that, let me reintroduce you people to my best friend. And you already know who it is. Gustavo. And bruh, I'm going to tell it to you just like this. Gustavo Pieces is hitting because he's going cash app crazy. Now, first thing he says is, Jiggy man, getting jiggy under your bed? What the? F hey, yo, Gustavo was really good with you, bro. And then he says, you have Jiggy Man Jiggy in the Ziploc bags? All right, Gustavo, look, you can say whatever you want. You keep on sending cash apps like these. He also says, blessed you with 415 beans in the past two weeks. Yes, you have. And then he says, make it 500 and keep the videos dropping. Bruh, my nigga Gustavo, I'm from Brooklyn for real, and he holding a nigga down. You gotta appreciate him. But if you too wanna become one of Swayze's best friends, the Cash App link is in the description. It's honestly that simple. But bruh, what's going on in the Bronx, B? What's going on? Even though it's getting cold outside, it looks like Gotham City is still hot. Cause now, innocent 13-year-old boys is getting shot in the neck by old heads in Bronx, Afghanistan. Now the article reads, a 13-year-old boy was shot while walking to school in the Bronx in a random attack Tuesday morning, police said. A 36-year-old man allegedly opened fire around 7.20 a.m. on East 223rd Street near Bronxwood Avenue, striking the teen in the neck. Police said they believed the shooting was random. Now, the article ends off saying the teen who wasn't immediately identified was taken to Jacoby Hospital and is fortunately in stable condition. The suspect, who also wasn't immediately identified, was taken into custody and charges against him are pending. A revolver was recovered at the scene and the gunman was previously charged with criminal possession of a weapon in Harlem in February 2019 after he was allegedly caught with a loaded 380 semi-automatic handgun and a small amount of PCP. Now, this is a very unfortunate situation, and thank God that that little kid is in stable condition. Now, I'm gonna let you guys check out this clip, and I'll be right back with my commentary. Let's begin with a 13-year-old student shot and wounded as he was walking to school in the Bronx. A suspect mm. is now in custody. CBS News Nick Calloway is live in the Williamsbridge section of the Bronx with more on what happened. Nick. Well, it was a scary scene here this morning. That boy was walking down this block on his way to school when there was a man up, up on that porch right there reportedly waving a gun around. What? He fired one shot and hit the boy in the neck. We were here when police were fingerprinting that handgun this morning. Police say they found the 38 caliber pistol at the suspect's feet. The he was taken into custody. The he was just waving a gun around? Cartridge inside. Seven in the morning? all happened in the 900 block of East 200 Street around 730. 7:20 a.m. Luckily, the boy is expected to recover. Police are trying to figure out if this was a completely random shooting or if there was any sort of pr argument prior to that. But people who live in the area were rattled by what happened. That hurts because I think of, you know, I think of my nephews, I think of my niece, you know, who walks to school by themselves. That's you know, fact. that's why I gave her pepper spray. You never know. Good job. Like, to be serious, that breaks my heart, and I'm a school yeah. teacher as well. So to know my student didn't come to school today, mm. and I'm just thinking, oh, they're sick. No, they got shot. That mm. would tear me up. That's sad. Sources tell us the gunman does have a criminal history. He was just arrested in 2019 for possession of a firearm. Now he could also be facing... And PCP. You forgot PCP. He be bugging. name of that gunman. Reporting live in the Williamsbridge section of the Bronx. Nick Calloway. CBS 2 News. Nick, thank you. Well, there you have it, people. Apparently, some man pushing 40 was outside 7 in the morning waving a gun and shot a 13-year-old in the neck. Bronx Ganistan, people. Bronx Ganistan. Now, I'm just sitting here reading this article and looking at this news clip, trying to make sense of it all. But I can't. I can't. 
because none of it makes sense. Here you have a 13-year-old kid on his way to school. All he wanted to do was get the bacon, egg, and cheese. All he wanted to do was go to school and get his education. And here's this 38-year-old man playing with a gun on his porch. And he almost takes this little kid's life. I honestly don't even know what to say. I'm befuddled. But pull up in the comment section and let me know how you feel about this situation. And if you like the video, don't forget to share. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And make sure you hit that notification button. But I'm off this. Yo, I ain't gonna lie. They wildin' out here today. You got the people out here. They load up for shot. I don't know what's going on. You got police everywhere right here. They need to be here we every day. What? We heard something about a shot as well. What? They let it off like the 4th of July here. Bow! I started ducking. I ain't know what to do. I see the police here. I don't know what the fuck going on. I'm trying to go home. For real, for real. They need the police out here every day. This community is not safe. Buzzling. Buzzling. Let the people know. Man, it's all old high school. Look at this. This is old high school right here. This is outrageous. Outrageous. These people out here don't know what they doing. Look at these police here. They never here. They want to come here when the shot get let off. Help, people. Help. I'm out of here. Oh, my fault. My name is Billy Bob Bobby Love.